Hey all, it's Munir and welcome back to Fallout Equestria Remains. We are continuing our trip throughout Manhattan. Picking up where we left off in the last episode. Um... Oh, that's good. I want to say, that's probably the best talent I have ever taken. The, uh, the telekinesis. Where you don't need to have line of sight on it. It's just so good. Uh oh. Please don't know. There we go. Okay. Alright. That was not really elegant at all. And I even took damage from that. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Can I even get up here? Yes. Alright, fine. We'll do this the easy way. There we go. And teleportation, while I have not used this uh, used it as much as I should, is very, very nice to have once you like get into the mindset of hey I have teleport. Why don't I actually use it? Oh, no, oh, that looks... Uh, I can't enter that from another way. Alright, let's uh, see how this goes. No. What? That was a weird delay. I don't know what that was about. Uh oh. Being able to do this is so useful. Because turrets are very, very, very painful. I do also like the deformation wave. <clears throat> Deals good damage, does a bit of a knockback, and it's just very useful in general. Entirely sold on the robot owl. That is mostly because I kind of do like it. I mean, I think it looks cool, and the laser actually seems to do sort of decent damage. Not great, but it's all right. Oh, a merchant. Do we have healing potions? Do we have bandages? Uh, no. They don't heal anywhere near enough. Oh. Ah, oh, and quit it. Oh, that's a bit of a lag there. Of course it had to be alicorns. That's the barrier, not the shield. And I also keep forgetting that there. Uh... Wow! Look at that! That's crazy! That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, 
There's one down. Two down. Ooh, dear. Holding up against three alicorns is uh, is rough. Although that's... I don't know if the robot owl just has ridiculously high magic resist, but it was alive for quite a while there, which I also noticed that it was during the elite alicorn we met earlier. So maybe that's the strength of that uh, particular companion. Maybe it has very high magic resist. Although the usefulness of the phoenix simply respawning after it dies, uh, after a short delay, is very good because you don't have to worry too much about it dying. It'll just return. That's good. I have a feeling something should be here. I was not wrong. Also bearing in mind that we could buff the um, the owl. Oh, I missed the room. We could buff the owl if we had the talent for it. I believe it's called empathy. Which buffs the power of your companion. And we don't have that, so they could be stronger. Let's see, I want the distortion field for these, I think. but still no Celestial Mechanics book. Oh. Look at that! That is completely ridiculous and scary. Just a little closer. Not that close. Oh, wow. What was that weapon? Was that a plasma caster? Ugh. Do not like. The good thing is, I am wearing the correct armor to stand against that weapon, so that is good. It just looks so scary and melting the walls and the floors. Eh, I don't like it. Oh, we even skipped the room with a trial in it. Speed! I'm not gonna like this, am I? Alright, what's the deal? You need to press the button here and run to the other side before the door closes. Simple, just don't run out of time. Alright, let me just scout the... Uh Uh, does the diver potion make me run through water? And is there a run speed food? Speed and stamina increased by 
that might be it. Use the overall speed, blah 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 blah, by 10%, alright. Also 10%, another 10% speed boost. Another 10% speed boost. Do we have anything higher? 10% again. We go down to the alcohol. Oh, restore magical power. Sure, I'll uh, drink some of that. All right. Um, I think we just use one of these, and I can't remember the. Potion of Spirit? When did I pick that up? There's anything else here? Strength and Endurance are temporarily increased. Speed, Jump Height and Action Points. That might be good. Ultra Dash. Can't remember if the Diver's Potion makes us just... No, it doesn't. Oh no, is that the um Is that the Nuka Cola thing? Did I mess up? Maybe Alright, that might have been from all the Nuka Cola. I didn't think it would be that much, but apparently it was. Take a large healing potion. Right, I think I'll try to use the Ultra Dash as well. Alright, so we hit the button, yeah. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure there is some trick to the water here where it doesn't slow me down. But I can't remember what it is. Not the Dio's potion. Mm. Okay, well, let's just try it uh, one more time with the Ultra Dash. Oh, come on, that's so close. It's definitely the water slowing me down. Is this actually faster? Now let's use these as a measurement. Let's see. Here. One, two, three ish seconds. Going back. One, two. Oh, that's definitely slower. Um, this is also slower. Oh, is it because, what about if I just walk, one, two, and it's about the same. It's about the same. Hmm. Oh no, well I already filled that one. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Is there anything I can do? What about this one? Can I... Okay, maybe if I double jump, that should be fine. Oh no. I don't think I got far enough. No. Nope. And my Ultra Dash is wearing off. What's this done? Alright, let's try again. Not sure that was fast enough. Why is it? Oh, these aren't the same heights. They are not. Ugh, that's all I know. So I can't double jump. I would be able to double jump here, but it doesn't work over there. Oh, come on. Am I missing a trick here? I don't think that will... Hmm... Okay, nope. so far off. I was very close just once, but um, and I haven't really been able to do it again. I feel like I'm missing something for the water though. I need the ultra dash and then something else, but what is it? I can't think of it. Give it one more go. And then we will move on. That is so far off. Well, not so far, but it is at least a second or two. I was very close getting it once, and I can't remember what I actually did. Alright, I think we will skip this for now, and I'll... see if I can figure out if I'm missing like a potion or something. But that's the exit. Ow. Right, there's an alley corn at least.
And there's an Elicorn. Is that the same? That is one way to open the door. Oh, wait. I just realized she dropped some magic dust. And I want that. If they weren't alerted to our presence, they are now. Uh, can we? I don't really use this at all. Yeah, I haven't really used vats in this game, uh, except when I want to throw grenades. I think it's just works better without it. Oh, ouch. That's potentially very scary. get down there. Yeah, kind of. Oh. Do want you to go away. Alright, so... I want this one. Oh. Can I actually hit him? That would be super cheesy. Oh, that dealt a lot of damage. It also dealt a lot of damage. And that one completely whiffed. Go, he's almost dead. Nope, could not do it that way. Needs to be a little bit further away. Also from the 
box. Oh, come on. Let's see. Can we get him? Yes. There we go. Thank you, locked door. I think you just made that a whole lot easier. Check that one, yeah. More graphics. Okay. How about I don't deal with griffins and scary turrets at the same time? Can't get in here. I am all right for that. I'm not entirely sure how this building works. I suppose it's supported there. Is this supposed to be a water silo? I guess that makes sense. Alright, that's actually the first level of Manhattan. Here, a good place to look around. You take out binoculars and observe the surroundings. There are only ruins everywhere. Yeah. The one did not spare this place. Stop! A tall skyscraper with a large symbol of the Ministry of Arcane Sciences. Strongly damaged, but even now, there are at least 30 floors left in it. Perhaps this is the Scientific Research Institute of MAS. If there's a place to look for the Alicorn Amulet, it is there. So what's a better way to get there? There is no patch from below, everything is covered with debris, but the skyscraper is connected with the monorail road. You can get there from the roof of a nearby building. But what are these black specks around the institute? I don't see, let me zoom in. Alicorns! Celestia damned them. There's a whole flock of them. A flock of alicorns? Hmm. But why are there so many? Perhaps it means that the amulet is really there. Alright, a new stage. Get to the entrance to the MAS tower. This is actually new for me. I, uh... I don't remember this. So do we continue in Manhattan in order to get there? I suppose we do. The Manhattan Ruins level 2. Oh. Oh no, I actually just wanted to. the time it's 30 minutes all right we'll do this uh we'll not do this one room there is an elite alicorn or should we oh no i guess we kind of should it is 5000 xp isn't it let's 
just so tough. Uh, let me at least. Damage in combat spells, increased magic consumption reduced by 10%. Yes, this would be a good time to use that. I also want to have a couple of healing potions and large magic potion and a normal magic potion. There we go. Of course, the other one goes to Mingle. by the lightning. Alright. No! Come on, that's not fair. It's gonna respawn me right on top, isn't it? Did she at least not uh, regenerate? That would be helpful. Oh, she did! Alright, no. We're not gonna play that game. If she's going to respawn or regenerate all of her health, I think it's best we just uh, call it quits here. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Fitzbird out.